In the NFC side, I think everybody is in agreement. The Detroit Lions oh, are the yeah. team that's going to be representing the Lions. And Ty actually said something earlier today that, you know, wants to take the sting and the joy, I think, a little bit out of the Detroit Lions fan. What was that? Do you remember what you said about the Lions? Oh, no, yeah. I just said, boy, they better win this year. Because? Well, I just, you know, the amount of Lions fans who have gone back and – Foxy's not in this, so let's just let's start right there. Let's remove right. him from the equation. He's bad I, take still. If, if if they do win, I will be so happy for Foxy. I really will. That's no bullshit. Thank you. But the amount of people who have circled back uh, to what I said at the draft in Detroit and Lions fans who are just like so poopy pants about it, you know, it's like, hey, listen, that's what we do. We talk shit. Okay, you got. <laughs> Giving the Lions their flowers week in and week out. They're in the division that the team I like is is in, okay? So I see what the Lions do every week. And also, Foxy knows this. Lions get really good when what happens? They draft two guys from Iowa, okay? <laughs> two of my favorite Iowa football players of all time. So, yeah, you know, I, but, but I'm just saying, and Diggs has mentioned this before, too. You know, you when you go from a fan base that's just never oh, won yeah. before, and then all of a sudden you get good, and you start puffing your chest out a little bit more, which you should. You should. But – they are. They're the best team in the NFL. Right okay. Now. Oh, the okay. oh, Chiefs are undefeated. <laughs> they are. They are. But I think when it comes to the eye test, you look at that Detroit Lions football team, you said that. That's my horse right there. Okay, well, funny you say that. The horse is a lion. They're the only team in the NFL that's top five offense and top five defense. And I think that is notable because at this stage of the year, you know, can you be too good now? Like you're trying to get better and try to get better, try to get better. But you have to have something that is elite at this stage, I think, for your team to really believe that they can go win a Super Bowl. The Lions on both sides, top five, only team in the league this early in the season. How does that make you feel, AJ? Obviously, they're dominant. Hmm. The offense is... So efficient, so awesome to watch. It's explosive, it's tactical, it's powerful. Their offensive line has been in the top five for AQ every single week in that. And their defense, top five defense as well, never gets talked about. They lose Aiden Hutchinson, continue to dominate. They lose Branch in the second quarter. He's come out and said, I am sorry to the Packers fans for flipping you off. Heat of the moment, that's not who I want to be. I think that was a great answer in that whole thing. But without him, he's their second best player probably on defense alongside Joseph. They continue to dominate in there. So I think no credit is really given to the Detroit Lions defense because of how awesome the offense has been and how historic it's been. But they're the only team top five in both. What's that say to you, AJ? I mean, it says that they, they kind of have their identity. They We know who the Lions are right now. No. The, the thing that I guess makes you worry is when you turn on any kind of sports program out there and they're saying, hey, the Detroit Lions are the best team in the NFL. Definitely people are saying they're the best team in the NFC. Like, that's what you have to worry about. Like, are we, are we peaking too soon? Which, that's not a real thing. Like, you want to win every single game. You want to win by as much as possible. And you want to play well every game. But I guess people worry – okay, is this sustainable? Can they continue to get better and better as this season goes? Yeah, I think fans and probably analytics people and us and shit are going to talk about peaking too soon. In the locker room, you're trying to peak as fast as possible. We're trying to get to our best oh, ball yeah. as fast as possible. So that's not on us that this happened too early. Let's go Chuck Pagano, obviously, 18 years NFL coach. Can a team peak too early, or is that just all kind of fodder for bullshit? No, I think you want to find out what you have, what your identity is, and then just keep getting better from there. So I, I don't think so. I, I think everybody always says, okay, it's going to be this week. It's going to be next week. I think this culture is too good. I think MCDC is too good. You mentioned the, the offensive uh, top five defense. Numbers-wise aren't top five, but you said scoring uh, defense, yes. right? So point differential, they're 13.8, which is number one in the National Football League. Big difference for this is Aaron Glenn's done a great job on the defensive side. They pick up Zadaria Smith, obviously, uh, at the trade deadline to make up for that lost pass rush with uh, with Hutch out. Last year at this time, or last year at the end of the season, they were 29th in red zone defense. Currently, they're number four, and they're first on third down defense. So when you talk about keeping people out of the out of the end zone and 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 your your scoring defense going up like that, those are those are two reasons why. Foxy, it's got to feel good to have all these things said about your team right now. Feed me all the hype. I do not <laughs> care. In my lifetime, the Detroit Lions have never been the best team in the NFL. And you know what? I want them to print shirts that say "Mid-Season Super Bowl Champions." That's how much I don't care about all of this hype. And I well, do. Then why think are you making a shirt? That's a bad idea. You, you, because you, you never have before. Foxy. 
I want a Super Bowl champion. So you're season. happy where you, you are? You guys hanging a banner? This is like the Lakers winning the uh, halfway it's cup. You played yeah, yourself. We're well, going to win this right? one, we one, and we're going to win one at the end of the year because that's the MCDC culture. I don't care about all the noise. This team's the best in the NFL. They are so much fun to watch, and I'm going to enjoy every single week of it. How are they able to keep both their coordinators for this long? I don't love it. How has that happened? Well, How is that? Aaron Glenn had job blackmail. offers allegedly didn't get didn't yeah. take. Ben Johnson allegedly maybe it is maybe it is. MCD, that's MCDC <laughs> football, bro. But the fact that they're all committed yeah. up there, players, coaches, everybody is bought in. It's, like it's a great place to work. It must be a great place to work. Great place to play. Obviously, when you're keeping coordinators like that, and all the players seem to to buy in. Well, and MCDC, you you talk about a great place to work. It's like he's cultivated that entire mm -hmm. entire oh, yeah. thing from day one. Day one, MCDC's been MCDC. Now, obviously, he had the opportunity to be the interim head coach down at the Dolphins, and he goes over to the Saints, so he's no stranger to the position. But as soon as he gets dropped in there, from that opening press conference, I don't think he's changed at all. I, I don't think he's changed. Now, obviously, there's been some football decision-making things that he's evolved from, he learned from, and his team's gotten better. But he's doing up-downs the first day of training camp his first year. He's still doing that. It's like... He is him. He, he MCDC is him. Exactly. He hasn't changed. And they just showed this clip. Their first season, they were 0-10-1. Him and Jared Goff. And they they didn't change. They could have moved quarterbacks like they said they were going to. They never did. And it's just crazy how they went from that to, you know, Super he Bowl. Cried. Yeah, yeah. He cried after Legitimately the first cried. Life. Which I think he would still do oh, yeah. if they won a massive yeah. game. I think he would. Yes. Just different expectations now. It's like. And you saw the deal with David Montgomery, right, when they interviewed him and what he said about MCDC before he was getting there when he was going in there what were, what were your thoughts and he mentioned okay that first press conference you think okay is this guy absolutely nuts is he a good coach and he said he's both yeah he's, you know, that's our that's our leader he is the best football coach i've been around and he and he's also a little bit wacky which you and know, he's and jacked he, yeah huge he's, he's a absolutely he's a big jacked. he's a big human huge yeah. how's he how's he keep up with it while he's i don't know how he gets as much time because he's bigger seemingly Probably doesn't sleep. I mean, I would assume he sleeps douche, like an hour and a half a night. Douche. Yeah, we know he doesn't sleep. <laughs> what is his coffee order? Uh, venti. Venti with two black eyes. What are those? Uh, two shots of espresso, and I have about six of those a day. So I don't know what I'm drinking. 180 ounces of coffee and nine espresso shots. What does a normal human do? <laughs> Not that. How long have you been doing this for? As long as I can remember. Since I really came out of the womb. And that's not even I, three, four tins of chew a day as well. So, you tell me, man. How's Applebee's going? <laughs> Through the roof. Bonus wings are back. Better than ever, man. <laughs> Not as good as Pizza Hut. <laughs> Come on. Nobody out pizzas the hut. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's true. Put you a little bit of a pickle there. Yeah, that you, you did. But I think with, with the Lions, too, like everyone always talks about it, how like you want to be physical and you want to be tough. Like It's the NFL. But you see how like when you actually have a guy like Dan Campbell and like Vrabel, like – those guys are tough guys in real life, and like their teams really do embody that physical toughness. And like, it's just when they play other teams, it's so evident that oh, this team is not as tough, and they're not as physical as they are. So that's something I don't think like any actual tough person says, right? Everybody just kind of understands like this is actual tough guy. Here, this is a yes. real tough guy.